for me when I think about dynamic interfaces, now with AI, it's more possible for the interface itself to be a little bit more reactive and responsive in real time. And I think those are some of the things that's really interesting about AI. It's just like, there's the spatial context, device context, identity, and in this continuous runtime, the UI can iterate itself too. So we as designers are so used to like, okay, you know, we ship this thing to production, we test it, we A-B test it, we get user feedback and it comes back and then we iterate on it. It's all manual. And I think in a world where personalization and spatial context with like multi-devices, it's gonna be really key for UI to be able to adapt within itself. And I think there's a world where you might have like a UI that's personalized to like your own theming. You know, we're starting to see a lot of apps be able to like provide custom themes and maybe that changes on the go. Maybe it's certain types of curation you have. It's almost in a way thinking about like a UI being more organic than just this static piece of UI software that doesn't change. I feel like the time in which it changes will be a lot more rapid. So that's kind of what I mean by dynamic interfaces. I think for product designers, you should think about what should be designable, what should be configurable, right? And there's probably some things you may not want an open-ended canvas for people to customize, right? You kind of have to think about like the rules of that ecosystem of like, hey, what can the end user control and what are things that should be expressed by human can be expressed by the AI and really think about that. It's just like, okay, you know, there is a world where your brand guidelines might have just a certain level of control and then the rest might be adaptive to the end user. So it, it's something I think we've been through before, but it's just going to get a lot more complex, you know, in terms of like what, what can be customizable.